It's Startup Diaries. We're Fab and Dom. We escaped our office, packed up our business, and hopped into a Land Rover with our friend Vin. Our mission, travel through South America and meet people who use technology to redefine work. What started as a crazy idea, leaving our office behind, running a business from the road and meeting people who were just as crazy as us, suddenly became a reality. For the next six months, we're going to cross South America in La Oficina, the Land Rover Defender, which was to be our office, hostel and means of transportation. While the rest of the team was preparing to leave Berlin, my first destination was Bella Vista, Buenos Aires, to pick up the car. I can already see it. Here are the keys. Now we're taking off the old ones, putting on the new ones. Berlin, represent. This is the first time we're going to start this tank. Ah, there. It feels like driving really like a tank. The first driving experience brought me to the airport to pick up Vin. What can I say about him? A half German, half Vietnamese guy who I met two years before in southern Spain. With Vin, life feels like being 16 again. Together, a few days later we picked up Dom, a guy who I've met on a car sharing trip in Romania. A year later we became business partners. A good decision. Two, two glasses of vodka, five bottles of wine, two sleeping pills. I couldn't sleep at all. And four stupid movies, the worst movies ever. We used the first days to get some work done and figure out the logistics. Being a digital nomad, one of the first things to do when arriving at a new place is to get an internet connection. We found Wi-Fi all around in Buenos Aires, though it's a nice feeling to know you have a connection wherever you are. What we needed was a constant internet. Going into the city, we have to, to get internet. That's the main focus today. I must have forgotten some socks in, the, in this bag and I have your sweatshirt, so I'm sorry, man. It's, oh no, it's hey, what? SIM cards with data volumes need to be acquired, eventually ending up with a collection of cards that after your trip you can proudly glue to a page in diary. It was too easy, I guess. And you go. Congrats. All right, man. Thanks. <laughs> All right, we got the first mission covered. Dominic is online on his phone. He has a 3G connection everywhere now in Argentina. And the coolest thing is he can use the uh, iPhone as a hotspot and then get online with the MacBook. Second mission today is to change money in Cayo Florida, which is the official, unofficially legal way to uh, change dollars and euros on the black market. So let's see if we find someone. Money is no less important. And while you can extract cash from ATMs basically anywhere on the planet these days, in Argentina you can cut a good deal by changing your money on the black market on the road and get a better rate than at a bank. We were a bit afraid to film for the reason we were soon to find out. So they're doing some math, it seems like they didn't like the exchange rate I proposed. Yeah. Okay, 15, what do I do? What happens is that we are selling at 15, at 15.50. But after three days, it changed to 15.80. Yes, but it dropped. Today it's above the dollar. Today the dollar is paying 12.80. Yes. It was paying 13.50. 400. 400. We noticed they saw Vin holding the camera, but hey, what can two geeks do, right? In the end we were lucky, only Vin got hurt. We spent a week in Argentina meeting local entrepreneurs and freelancers, discovering city life and working on our own business. Everything we saw here was matching perfectly with our goal, taking work into your own hands, following our passion and having the freedom to travel and create the next kick-ass world-changing idea. We met people who were writing cool stories for their lives and this was the kind of crowd we were chasing. Wanna meet those people too? Then let's go on this journey together. 
<laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing right behind the border and it smells of Let me tell you how crazy this guy is. So Fabi broke our first microphone. So the whole interview is gone. And I well, think it's <laughs> When do you think you're going to get this bug out of your system? <laughs> so I can drink 10 coffees in one hour and sell them on the street to get I the think, money back. No, no, I, I don't think that you'll be able to... You want more money so you can buy your then make us happy.